Howdy, y'all. Come on in. We in we in Texas. Put on your cowgirl hat, trashy. Hey, my trashy. Head down to Texas. We got rampage and goats terrorizing everybody. No kidding. <laughs> Welcome to Total Trash Live. I'm your country host, Pete Zayas. Hi, my trashies. Come on in. The show's going to really go popping tonight. Bang, bang. Yeah. You want to dress up like Beyonce for summer? You want suede and cowboy hats and boots? Well, you better get ready to sweat. Sweaty cowboy. Hi, my trashy. I'm not drinking beer. I'm, I'm not drinking root beer. I'm drinking beer. I'm from Texas. You guys ready for some trash? We got tabloid trash and I've been doing investigations left and right. Come on in. Hi, my trashy. Nice to see you. This ain't Texas. You go hold them, and you go down, down, down with some goats. Look at these goats. I love them. They're terrorizing Texas. Yeehaw! Bang, 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 bang. It's a screw. Yeehaw! Cheers to Texas and the goats. Let's get this show started. Are you guys ready to hitch a ride? Are you guys ready for, uh, yeah, honey, Dolly Parton. Are you guys ready to um, dress up as a cow girl, cowboy, cow person for summer? Everyone's dressing in cowboy outfits. This ain't Texas. Please welcome my co-host, my daughter, Lumina. Here she is. She don't have a cowboy hat on, but she has a Madonna celebration toy. She loves Madonna. Just like her mama. Do you see her flying in the Los Angeles sky last night? That was my daughter Lumina. Do you guys see that? Come on in, my trashies. The show has just begun, and goats are rampaging through Texas. This is serious. Now, everybody's going to be dressed up as, you know, a cowboy for um, summer. That's the style. And next thing you know, you're going to be attacked by a goat. Is this what you want your summer to be? Now, do you think you're going to, um, are you guys, do you like Beyonce's new album and are you going to wear country outfits? Are you going to be like Country Pete? <laughs> oh, honey. Good for her. That's right, my trashy. You know, if you want to look, I first of all, I wore country um, fashion before in 2000. And I had a bedazzled rhinestone of a Lord jumpsuit I wore to Las Vegas. So I've already done the country thing, but I guess we're doing it again. <laughs> I mean, who is she? She's a cowgirl? Country sucks. Ha <laughs> ha. No, because this ain't Texas. Honey, there's, there's goats attacking Texas. And we've got so much. To, I did do it first, my trashy. Thank you. We've got so much to get into tonight. P. Diddy, Gypsy, the Royal Family, J-Lo. I have my own mystery I need you guys to help me solve. This ain't Texas. Cheers, my trashies, to be in Texas. Hold them and bold them. Yes, that's right, my trashy brother love. Oh, honey, now I'll get into all of that. But first, I want to give a, a happy birthday shout out to one of my trashies. Happy birthday, Marcus. This ain't Texas. Cheers, honey. Have a beer. Go to the Abbey. Woo! Oh. First of all, um, I listened to Beyonce's album. I really didn't care for it. Now, don't attack me because she was singing very hard on it. Very hard. And I don't really need more country. And you know who invented country was um, Reba. Reba McIntyre invented country. So I don't, you know, it's, it's here or near there for me. You know, and I'm mostly scared of goats. So if I'm scared, if I look like I'm from Texas, they're going to attack me. This is serious. This is serious. Remember when that actress peed outside of the Abbey? Which one, my trash, eh? Hi, hi my baby. Shelby, drink a juice. Honey, listen, there's some serious things happening. First of all, um, 
Yesterday was April Fool's. Oh, Jamie Presley. That's right. I remember when she peed outside the, the, the Abbey. I once got a blowjob outside the Abbey. Who is she? Who is she? I'll tell you who she is. We'll get into her later, honey. Hi, Trashy. I'm sure there is video. I hope there's no video of me getting a blown job. <laughs> this ain't Texas. Oh, woo. I'm going to have my lip gloss with me. Gosh darn it. Um, so yesterday was um, April Fool's. And you know they have like AI. Everything's AI now, honey. So I was listening to my Spotify and I have an AI DJ in my car. And he came on and he has a very nice voice. He doesn't sound like a robot. He sounds like a very sensual man. He calls me by my name. I'm in a relationship with my AI DJ on Spotify. I'm in a relationship with him. Cheers. And um, the AI uh, DJ said, you know, I just want to say, I want to be, I'm so appreciative of you, Pete. <laughs> and this is a song to express my appreciation. And I was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. This is AI. AI is good then. I like AI. And the next thing you know, the song that came on, because he picked songs for me, it was... Um, uh, um, a polka song and I was like what and then I press the next button and then he goes April Fools <laughs> honey even an AI men are pigs gosh darn it even the AI man didn't even give a darn about me gosh darn it cheers my trashies get your cowboy outfits on for summer and start sweating sweating to the sweating to the countries Where's, where's, um, Reg oh, not Regis, we know where Regis is. Where's, um, Richard? He came out and uh, had a tweet saying that he was dying, and then he said, April Fool's. <laughs> is she AI? I wouldn't be surprised if she was. But you know who is not AI? Local, Sean Diddy Combs. We'll get into her, honey. You know, I met Sean Diddy Combs in Times Square in 1998, and I went up to him. He was walking in the middle, like, where there's, like, an island, and I was at the Virgin Mega store. Probably picking up, um, you know, trade. And I went across the street and there was like all these like, you know, entourage. And I was like, can I have your autograph? And he started to write it down. This is when he was Puff Daddy. And I said, can you write to Pete? And he went, do you want my name or your name? And then he wrote down, he wrote it, you know, he signed it. And then he went. <laughs> but he didn't molest me. Now listen. Um, I, ha I, I had this autograph for all these years and all of a sudden I can't find it. Now, do you think this autograph will be worth more money if he goes to jail or less money than he, if he goes to jail? I actually think Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Love, Brother Love may not be going to jail and I did some research on it and I'll tell you why. Listen. Okay. Sean P. Oh, I get it. Okay, girl. Hi, my trashies. I love Nancy Grace, and I must have watched that clip you put on a dozen times. Oh, I love that clip of, that, of Nancy Grace, too, my trashy. I can't stop watching her. I was picking up trade, my trashy. Honey, what about these goats? We'll get into that later. So I went over um, um, the P. Diddy um, documents. But before I get to that, I have a personal mystery that I'm going to have. I need you guys to help me figure out. I have something of mine that's been kidnapped with a hard P, like the Halle Berry movie. Not kidnapped, kidnapped. Do you see? So my friend Alexis sent, texted me a, a picture. And she texted me a, this picture, and I printed it out. And she asked me if I was this person in this picture. Now, this is the lake that I go to, the Silver Lake Reservoir. And this was on a postcard she saw at a store in Silver Lake. And so... I looked at it, and that is me. I have that hat. Do you see it? I have that hat. And I have, that's my Madonna shirt and my blanket, and that's my purse. And I put my Starbucks in my shoe like that. So somebody painted me. Like, like, I'm, in, like I'm Rose in Titanic. Paint me like one of your French girls. Not like one of your country girls, because this ain't Texas. So I was like, oh my God, I want this postcard. I mean, somebody was secretly painting me. And I remember that day because I remember when this, somebody was flying this kite. So I was like, I'm going to go to the store and find it. I was like, what is the name of this store? And she says, it's something called Wax. 
that she says they sell candles and postcards. I didn't know what this store was. So I went, you know, just drove over to Silver like that same day. And of course, you can't find parking in this city. You can't find parking in Los Angeles. You can't find parking here. You can't find any parking here. And so I finally found parking way up a hill. I walked down a hill and I like, the, you had to open up, you had to press a button and then you, heard, you had to hear the buzzer before they let you in. I have no idea what this store is. Why are they locking the doors for co postcards and candles? So this woman opened the door. She's like, do you have an appointment? It's <laughs> like, an appointment? I thought to myself to buy a candle? No ding dong. And I was like, no. I, and I was, I was like, I am. Um, and then she cut me off. She's like, I'm, I, my shop girl's gone. You have to come back in 20 minutes. And I was like, and I was going to like try to like butter up and be like, well, I'm on a postcard that's inside your store. And before I, I know I smiled. And before I could say that, she's like, um, yeah, you, know, you have to come back in 20 minutes. And, um, and she was so abrupt about it. And I was like, well, I just, you know, I, I just I had trouble finding parking. And, and then she's like, I'm with a customer. I'm with a client. And then I rolled my eyes and walked away. Well, it turns out this place sells candles, postcards, and it waxes your cooch. It waxes your cooch. <laughs> it waxes, it has candles, and it waxes your eyebrows. Like, but anyway, I, I couldn't get my postcard because I wasn't going to go back there in 20 minutes. Gosh darn it. So there is a picture of me kidnapped inside a store that waxes muffins and has um, candles and postcards. And I'm on this postcard. Honey, I don't like, the, I don't like this place. So I, of course, you know, I pranked them. I prank phone called her. Oh, I was like, hi, I want to make a, um, an appointment. Um, I need to get my cooch waxed. And then I uh, hung up on her. But like, my postcard's in there. My postcard's in there. I guess I gotta make an appointment to wax my cooch. I'm gonna tell her I gotta wax my cooch and come in with this. I was like, can you wax this? <laughs> this is my dog of Coco. This ain't Texas. So, there's... I forget the name of that store, but if anybody knows it, since if anybody lives in Los Angeles and Silver Lake, buy me this postcard, I'm on it. How oh, gosh darn she steal from me? Come on in, my trashies. The show is just getting started, and it's just getting good. Oh, can you believe that Gypsy couldn't keep this marriage together? You know Gypsy, who killed her mother with Munchausen by proxy. Thank you, my trashy. She stole my, my, vis my visage. I should sue her. This is um, damage. I should sue that person that kidnapped my postcard. I'm on it. Somebody like is making money off of me. And that's another thing is I didn't want to go back in that store. I didn't want to go back in that store and give them money after she was so nasty to me. I'm happy to make her store look good. Gosh darn it. Ugh. This town, let me tell you something about Hollywood. It ain't Texas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My personal image, that's right, my trashy. Ah, anyway, Gypsy's marriage is over. The woman who killed her Munchausen mother, she married her, um, her fan that they met uh, via mail uh, when she was in jail. He took her to buy shoes. Oh, when she first got out of jail. Pure romance. If you can't make this, if you can't, if she can't make that work, what is, what is the luck for any of us? You know what I'm saying? Um, my trash just said, I'm worried that Gypsy's going to go after Richard Simmons now. Oh, honey, she's on the loose. Anyway, she's back dating some other um, trash from her hometown. <laughs> and they got matching tattoos. Yeehaw! Oh, sweetheart. I can't wait to see you all sweating at Gay Pride with, with chaps and hats on. This hat's hot. And it's still spring. And I'm sweating. This ain't Texas. Sean Diddy comes by proxy syndrome. Thank you, my trashy. My trashies are always on top of it, honey. Now well, let's get to Diddy. See this? This is the United States Federal Court, Southern District of New York. It's the plaintiff Rodney Little um, Rodney Little Rod Jones is the guy that's suing Diddy, Puff Daddy, Brother Love, and um, by proxy and. And um, I, I, re I looked at the, all of the allegations, all of the accusations. Honey, Rodney spilled the tea, but I'm not so sure about this. A lot of this, I don't know if I believe. Some of it I do believe. 
But I'll tell you what makes me not believe the whole thing. In one page of this document, and I love to read documents. Oh, anybody knows, I love a document. And I went over the whole thing with a fine tooth comb wig. And one part of this, yeah, Benefa, she hid the gun for, the, for Pete Combs. Benefa did. I know, honey, we'll get to JLo in a second, but I'm talking about the guy that's suing Puffy. He said that he tried to introduce him into a world of homosexuality. He was trying to get him to be a homosexual, this producer, little Roddy, little Rod Jones. Thank you, my trash. You fine tooth sham PDD Combs. It all comes together. Anyway, so I read the whole thing. In one page of, uh, one part of this uh, lawsuit, Little Rod Jones says that he is a heterosexual Christian. That Puff Daddy was trying to get him to become a homosexual, and he is a heterosexual Christian. Now, Your Honor, I'm going to show you a picture of Little Rod Jones, and you tell me if she is a heterosexual Christian, okay? Honey. <laughs> Honey, exhibit A, this is not a heterosexual Christian. If she's a heterosexual Christian, I'm a heterosexual Christian. And I'm a homosexual Christian. So he's lying about that, and he's probably lying about everything else. I think once um, he saw that Cassidy got all that money, because Puff Daddy's crazy, he was like, I want some too. And Puff Daddy probably was pr crazy with him and probably like was a horrible boss. But you're not a heterosexual Christian. Get, um, not guilty. Actually, that is a heterosexual Christian. That's very on brand for them. <laughs> That's true, my trashy. She is a GCB good Christian bitch, just like Christian Chen with my proxy. Oh, my trashies. Anyway, I'm going to predict that Puff Daddy P. Diddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs will be... Um, Nothing's going to happen to him. I think he's going to walk away from this. I predict it. Not because I think that he's innocent, just because of this person. <laughs> just because of this picture. This picture is going to set everything off. Mark my words, honey. Mark my words. Local Sean Denny comes. Not guilty. Ne next problem. Ah. Oh. You guys, so summer's coming. We all want to find the love of our lives, and we're all going to be wearing cowboy hats and sweating. Michael B. Jordan, he says he's lonely, and he's and because he puts too much energy into his work, and says he hasn't found someone who truly understands him, quote unquote. There's a part of me that really hasn't lived yet. It's, I've sacrificed for too long. What do you think he's talking about? Do you think he's talking about sacrificing, um, getting bird? Do you think he's sa sacrificing becoming a, a homosexual Christian like Little Rod? Honey, I'm gonna help her. First of all, she doesn't, she needs to go on vacation with me. We're gonna go to Texas. I can make everything better. He's, he has sacrificed for too long, and I understand her. And I also give a wonderful massages. Remember when he hit on a um, allegedly um, um, a, a, a homosexual Christian um, uh, stylist in the closet, and the homosexual Christian stylist said that he was he was on a podcast, and he said that he they were like in a closet together, <laughs> and they were going through his closet to fix things. This is before he became fame, fame, big, big, like Texas, and they like got into each other's faces, and, he, and Michael B. Jordan allegedly joked, "Is this where we kiss?" <laughs> yes, it is, and you're gonna kiss me. Maybe he could be under conservatorship of Nancy Grace by proxy. What songs did you wish Madonna sang in celebration? Honey, this is off topic, my trashy. My goodness, borderline. Borderline. Deeper and deeper. I really wanted original borderline. But yeah, I'm, I love that Madonna concert. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I could go now. She was just in Atlanta. Now she's going to be in uh, Fort Lauderdale. 
well, I won't go to Florida, honey. I won't go to Florida to see anything or anybody, not even for Madonna. You're not going to get me in Florida, honey. So I can get attacked by an alligator on the way to the show? No, honey. I just saw an Inside Edition, two pit bulls. Uh, sh- first of all, Jacksonville has stray pit bulls. Stray pit bulls? Honey, put them in the doghouse. Anyway, they tore up some woman's car. They took pieces of it and ripped it up. Ugh. Ugh. And because there was a cat that ran inside of it. Ugh. No, honey, I gotta show you this clip. It's unhinged. <laughs> I should have had it ready, and I thought to myself, I don't know if I want to deal with Florida tonight. But since somehow we got to Florida, I have to show you this footage of these unhinged pit bulls. I heard Deborah Norva won't go to Florida either. I don't blame her, honey. No, honey, this is why I'm not going to go to Florida. You ready? Not even for Madonna will I go to Florida. See if you can see this. Dead of night, and two pit bulls are attacking a car. In fact, they're taking it apart. Surrounding the vehicle, oh my god, the pit bulls ferociously go after Honda piece by piece. Fenders and other car parts fly into the driveway in Jacksonville, Florida. The owner of the SUV, Christy Barr, not Christy. Oh my god, her car. Then she looked at her look (laughs) on the video. You can see both of them tugging on it. And they were tugging so hard that my car... Look! It's rough. Rough. The dogs are strays or not. The strays? The almost $3,000. Honey, so only in Florida, they're just ram- like wandering pit bulls. This is crazy. You know, a friend of mine got attacked by a goose. Her and her daughter walk into a mall in Virginia. And goats are attacking people in Texas. <laughs> honey, this country's unhinged. Yeah! We're, we're, honey, we're worried about P. Diddy. Well, we got to take care of goats, pit bulls, and geese. If somebody needs to go there and get Christy, that's right, my trashy. Did Ford arrange the attack against Honda? I'm sure, my trashy. Was Christy hiding in that car? No, my trashy. It was a cat. They were, the cat went inside the engine. Ah, oh, It's unhinged, honey. Where is my postcard? I got to get this postcard. Too busy waxing cooch. Anyway, so now let's get back to Jennifer Lopez. They're, honey, they're all attacking Jennifer Lopez on, on TikTok. Everyone has a nasty story about Jennifer Lopez. I don't have one. I've never met her in person or seen her in person, I don't think. But um, everyone says that she's nasty and she, this, this, and that. And then now with this whole P. Diddy thing, they're saying that she hid the gun for him. <laughs> Wearing her ass. I was in New York when that whole gunshot thing happened in 1999 on New Year's um, weekend. And they put her in jail. But I think they're just trying to drag her into this now because she's being hated on. <laughs> anyway, her and Ben Affleck are looking for a house in Manhattan. How many houses does she need? To hide guns? And her purse. That's what they said. Tra- that's right, my Trasha. And her bandana that she wore to the 2000 MTV Video Music Awards. That's right, my Trasha. <gasps> this ain't Texas. Oh, she needs to watch out for goats. Oh, speaking of New York, honey, did you see there's somebody walking around New York getting pun- like, uh, punching women in the face? <gasps> Not Benifer. Honey, he ain't going for Benefer. But let me tell you something. I'm going to New York on Friday to do um, uh, a live stage reading of Messy White Gaze. If you're in New York, come to Soho Playhouse. I'm a New York theater actor. I'm a New York theater actor. And I'm also... Um, Sean Diddy comes. But um, I hope nobody punches me in the face. I mean, if they do, I'm going to try to get a lot of attention out of it. But who's punching people in the face? Not me. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. Are you coming on Sunday, my trashy? I'll see you there. Bethany Frankel got punched. I don't know if I believe that story. She's so little that she gets punched, she'd snap into two. She's so thin. Will you, when will you be on Nancy Grace? Oh, honey, I don't want to be on Nancy Grace because she's always after somebody, trying to frame them, trying to make them look even more guilty. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Okay. I love responding to my own voice. Please take precautions and proof poncho. Oh, oh, of course, honey. I first of all, I've always kept my, um, I always am very aware of my surroundings. That's why I'm not going to Jacksonville so I can get attacked by a pit bull. Pit bulls and crocodiles and goats in Texas. This country's unhinged. Oh, and I can't get Michael B. Jordan while Lizzo quit. Oh, you guys saw that Lizzo quit? She says that she can't handle the haters and she quit. 
first of all, get out of show business if you can't handle that. If you can't take the heat. If you can't take the heat, Lizzo, get off of Sesame. Go back to, wait, this is my own saying. Lizzo, if you can't take the heat, go back to Sesame Street. If you're going to walk around the New York street and get hit in the head, go back to Sesame Street. Take Nancy Grace to New York with you. You'll be safe then. That's right, my trash. But I don't think Nancy Grace cares about anybody but herself. Nancy's Grace. Good gracious. Nancy's Grace. Well, anyway, Lizzo quit. But then she made a video today in a bathing suit saying that she didn't quit. Honey, first of all, people were mad at her because she was singing for, um, that she got invited to, to perform for Barack Obama and jo uh, Joe Biden and um, uh, Clinton. And then I'm surprised, though, that she isn't on Ozempic. Like, everybody is on Ozempic. Why isn't Lizzo? Then somebody said that she should sing for the president of Ozempic. Now, that's just shady. That's just shady. Local, Sean Diddy does Nancy Grace wear a wig or does she have her hair naturally looking like a wig? Oh, my trashy, thank you for that wonderful question. Now, that is a naturally wiggy hair. That's a wig hair, honey. And she needs to put a cowboy hat on so she can be more like Texas. Uh, yeah, this is serious. Meghan Markle, do you guys like her new line? Meghan Markle, um, uh, during all of this stuff with the royal family. So last time we talked, my trashies, Kate Middleton was missing. Then she came out and had a video and saying that she, saying that she has um, cancer, which is, I like Kate Middleton because she, I like her coat dress and she's the only one that has money out of all of them and she has class. But um, she's also sitting on that giant bench when she gave that video. But anyway, we wish Kate Middleton the best of luck and, and be healthy because I like Kate Middleton. And the Inquirer last week did say that she had cancer before she revealed it. So the Inquirer had I me. Mean, there's a little bit of truth to these tabloids, my trashies. She also dropped, Lizzo also dropped her quitting news on Beyonce's release day. That's true, my trashy. And nobody cared because everybody was wearing cowgirl hats. So anyway, when Kate Milton was going through all that and missing, um, Meghan Markle came out with her brand. And I forgot to write it down. Gosh darn it. What's the name of this new brand that she has? <laughs> it's from Montecito. It's like something called Orchard. Uh, Orchard. Um, Montecito Orchard Valentine Lavender. I forget the name of it. Gosh darn it. Anyway, she has this new brand out. A lifestyle brand. She wants to be like Goop. Honey, nobody cares. I think what Meghan Markle should have done is she took a should have pay, uh, she should have took a page out of Kate Middleton's book and disappeared, and disappeared. But like faked a kidnap. Remember like Sherry Papini when everybody was faking kidnappings and that woman in Atlanta. Meghan Markle needs to fake a kidnapping and really turn it around for herself. Or should supply hardware. It's something like that, my trashy. <laughs> oh, honey, we gotta get to these tabloids. There's so much um, unhinged ding dongness in these this week. Um, are you guys ready? Orchard Supply Hardware. Of course. Of course, Kate Middleton's on the news. And I don't even think this is a current version because I don't think this is a current tabloid. I couldn't find any like really up to date tabloids. And I think it's because that tugboat hit that bridge. And it's a skew, honey. But she said, they say Kate wants out. And I believe it because they're the one last week that said that she had cancer before anybody else. She's rethinking life after health whore. Frantic William gets blindsided. Honey, he, look at her. He's blind. She's blindsided. Jen is jealous over Brad's new love. Oh, honey, poor Jennifer Aniston. Look, why gals hate each other? War warring wives wreck Ben and Matt bromance. Benifer! This ain't Texas. We ain't gonna hold them. We going down, 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 down. Look at these two. Look at them. Boyhood besties Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's lifelong bromance is being torn apart by their feisty wives, Jennifer Lopez and Luciana Bronzo, who simply don't get along. Ben doesn't think it's his Ben doesn't think his bride's being fair and hasn't given Lucy enough of a, of a chance. But Jennifer doesn't agree. She always put her back up against Lucy. Oh, 
Jenna was jealous of their enduring marriage. Matt and Lucy met the same year Jennifer and Ben split the first time, and that grace on her nerves. It's like Lucy got it right, and she didn't, at least until way later. What? Look how miserable they look, and look how happy they look. Oh my god, what about this story? <laughs> Honey, the queer eyes. They're not getting along with her. Jonathan Van Nath caused fear and tension on the Queer Eye set, says sources. I'm the source. Volcanic Van Ness giving Queer Eye a huge black eye. Hot head Jonathan Van Ness regularly unleashes a flaming temper on the set of Queer Eye, leaving staffers terrified and ranking other members and rankling other members of the show's Fab Five. There's a real emotion of fear around when Jonathan gets angry. Says a former colleague of the non-binary grooming guru. It's almost like a cartoon, but it's intense and scary. Honey, she's probably mad because she wears those ugly outfits. Do you ever see those tunics she wears? They're ugly. Honey, give her a cowgirl hat. Maybe she'll get happy. She looks unhinged. Honey, <laughs> these people have bashed Van Ness as emotionally abusive behind the scenes and other folks who worked on the Netflix hit described the over-the-top reality star as a monster, nightmare, and demeaning. A former co-worker gripes at least once a day Jonathan would meet would need to yell at somebody. Well, so do I, but that's usually my daughter. It might be something small, but there's always going to be somebody to point out and blame and make the villain of the day. One production manager charges the bearded bully's bad attitude and spotlight hogging habits made filming the series difficult. And yet another says Van Ness created tension and animosity on the set. Among fellow co-stars Bobby Bark, Antonio Pomosky, Karama Brown, and Taryn Franz. Oh, it's just so sad. If homosexuals can't get along, oh, they should just blow each other. Here's another crazy homosexual. They're saying that she, um, she got some, she's probably on a Zempic. She lost weight. <gasps> honey, Kate calls it quits. Listen, honey, I don't blame you. William ch breaks a, a sick wife, shuns royal life. Meanwhile, this one's laughing all the way to the crown. Camilla steps, st stepping on William's toes. Honey, they're all beating the shit out of William. Conniving Queen Camilla is shocking decision to take an overseas vacation while King Charles battles deadly cancer was a power play to show stepson Prince William. She's now the family boss. Oh, yes, honey. William was furious. He believed he should be the one standing in for his father. But Camilla went behind his back and told Charles it was unfair to ask William to shoulder more responsibilities while his wife Kate was recovering from grueling abdominal surgery. Of course, the king agreed. But to William, this is just another Another sneaky ploy by his controlling stepmother. Poor Princess Diana. She, she got rid of Princess Diana. She's got rid of Kate Middleton. She got rid of Prince Charles. She got rid of uh, um, Harry. Fergie. Nude party pass haunting Harry. Oh, honey, we want to see that, that red bird. Look at her. She has his panties. A former stripper has vowed to expose Prince Harry's crown jewels by posting nude photos of him on the racy adult website OnlyFans. Honey, I'm signing up. Look at her. <laughs> I have some nice pictures of him in the buff. I'll never release these pictures before out of respect. Now it doesn't matter. I'm a little angry about being whitewashed from his book. <gasps> Honey, she's mad. Look at her. She should be the new queen. His doja. That's right, my trashy. You know the British lingo. His doja. Ugh, that's my queen. Never forget. She's fallen and she can't get up. Honey, what about her? Rebel Wilson has a, a tell all, a nasty tell all book coming out. Not Lord Almighty. This is mean. Look at her. I hate when they have people eating. <laughs> I thought she was eating a bird. Doesn't this look like she's eating like a bird? Vegging out. Diane Warren puts the bite on a spicy, meat free hot dog named in honor of her. Acclaimed tune the fire inside she's eating herself she's eating herself look at jennifer garner she's sucking on that what is jaya lollipop <laughs> what is that oh my god these stars are unhinged honey he's laughing at her vigo mortensen have fun kids 
Oh, Charlize Theron. Her face is destroyed. Not her face. February 2004. June 2012. Now. Oh my gosh. They're saying that her face is destroyed. That face. Charlie's has botched eyelid and brow work and too much filler put in her lips and cheeks, surgeons say. Legendary Hollywood beauty Charlie's Theron has been turned into a tragic Frankenstein by plastic surgery going horribly wrong. According to top doctors, and I'm one of them. Her face looks hideous. This is mean. Her lips, her cheeks, they appear overblown. The whole thing is a disaster. Ugh. Honey, it's hard to be in Hollywood. I mean, maybe she was in there getting her eyebrows, um, eyebrows waxed while my postcard was kidnapped. What about her face? Honey, you know he gets um, Botox. Joe's a smooth move. Look, she got her neck done. Honey, you gotta do something about the price of these groceries. And the fact that I have trouble finding current tabloids. Instead of playing with your face, you need to fix the supply chain. Oh, bye, Charlize. Good luck, honey. Oh, so, honey, here she goes. Walking small. Honey, walking Ozempic. How Kelly burned away a hefty 40 pounds with Ozempic. Don't try to tell me she walked around New York. And, honey, if she was walking around New York, she'd have, she would have got punched in the face. Former former fatty Kelly Clarkson recently flaunted her thinner, her thinner than ever figure on her self-named talk show. She walked. She she kept off the forty pounds she shed by walking. Oh, sure she did. Yeah, walking to the doctor to get a prescription for a Zempic. Buy wig, buy wig. You're a liar. You're a fraud. These are the only women I care about. Babs and Fonda are feuding again. What are they fighting about? Snippy Streisand reopens cold cut. A simmering feud between divas Barbara Streisand and Jane Fonda has gone volcanic again. After the funny girl snarked in her new memoir, she made the Barbarella babe a star. She said that? Jane can't believe the nerve of Barbara to suggest for a second time she made her a star. It really gets her dander up. She's just mad. She, she wants, she's not just mad. She wants to get even. What is she going to do to her? What is she going to do to Babs? Oh my God, Jane got, I've said to her jokingly, I'm responsible for your career. The time, this time Jane's not having any of it. She's telling everyone they know Babs is a bitch and a liar and there's really no coming back. Apparently self-made strides and harbors a harsh resentment for Hollywood nepo baby Jane, whose parents were blah, 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 blah. We know they're famous. These guys are both incredibly talented. These, these guys are both incredible talents but come from different worlds. Oh, honey, look at her. She's mad. Oh, that face. She's mad. Well, I have to, I want to see them beat the shit out of each other. And finally, oh my God. Oh no, honey. A psycho cougar. Now cougars? Honey, pit bulls, cougars. Goats, a, a psycho cougar ambushed a biker. She's likely to be alive after Pals pulled her from the cat's jaws. I can't look at this. Octopus farms are a growing menace. What is happening? Octopus fans everywhere rejoicing over a new bill in Washington that will be ban farming the whimsical eight limbed intelligent invertebrates. I mean, what a sentence. Octopus, octopus farming leads to suffering and sickness for one of the more intelligent and feeling animals in our oceans. I, I don't have time for this. There's goats, there's cougars, there's pit bulls, there's octopuses. This is crazy. I can't look at that picture. I, I can't, I'm gonna, I feel kind of, I feel kind of nauseous. I need to look at something more happy now, like this unhinged Donald Duck. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I need something, I feel sick. That picture is making me sick. Ugh. <coughs> oh, that cougar is, it practically ate that woman's, that psycho cougar practically ate that woman's face. And the octopuses are on the loose. Honey, it's, it's unhinged. I'm on my way to Texas to see, save these goats. Oh, I need this picture. I can't look at this again. I can't look at this again. This picture made me... I felt so bad for this woman. 
Oh my god, this picture. I can't look at this picture again. It's making me sick. Oh, I'm sweating. Woo. They're sharing I'm sweating because I'm dressed up as a cowgirl. You know, all these cowboy outfits, are, it's, it's too hot to wear. Oh. Just diet and exercise and lots of water. Yeah, I know, right, my trashy? Kelly Clarkson is on Ozempic. And you can't tell me otherwise. You know I find out. I know what you're doing, Kelly. You're a liar. Oh, that picture made, got me the vapors. That poor woman was attacked by a psycho cougar. I'm scared too because of cougars because oh, there's mountain lions over here where I live. Some, and sometimes I go for a walk up in the woods and I think to myself, what am I doing here? There could be a psycho cougar. And then I go, to a walk, I go for a walk by a lake and then there's um, ge geese. And I told you my friend was attacked by geese. And then I went to this park and somebody was secretly painting me. Honey, I'm, I'm being attacked by every which way. My trash is, how do you think I can get this um, postcard out of that store? That, that, that this is a picture of me. How can I get it out of there? Because I'm not going to pay for it after the way I was treated. Should I steal it? Should I shoplift? I mean, I don't give a shit. I'll do what I need to do. This is my picture. This is practically belongs to me. I'll go undercover as somebody else. Nancy Grace. <gasps> I'm going to dress up as Nancy Grace and steal that postcard. Mogul, Sean, Diddy, Cubs. Well, my trashies, thank you so much for joining us. I feel like we solved so many important mysteries, got down to such important, important information. And thank you so much for helping me in my life. Get a police escort. I don't trust the police, my trash. I'm going to go in there riding on a, um, on a giant um, goat from Texas, and I'm going to lasso that woman. And she, I need my postcard real quick. Hi, I'm Reba. Anyway, I got to go. I got to go out, and, out into the world now and uh, ride my cowboy, my cow, uh, my horse into the sunset. I love you so much, my trashies. Till next time, I'll see you in New York. Yeehaw! Get Nancy Grace to expose her. That's true, my trashy. I should get Nancy Grace to let everybody know that she kidnapped my postcard. I don't deserve this. I'm a victim. I've been kidnapped with a hard P. And the next mystery I'm solving is we've, we, don't, we found out where Kate Middleton is. We found out where Richard Simmons is. Where's Pete Davidson? Honey, Pete Davidson's been missing. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it when I'm in New York. Can somebody babysit my daughter while I'm out of town? Bye, my trashies. Yeehaw! Drink it up. Drink the juice, Shelby.